Hello everyone. In this video, we will study the chapter 10 of class 4th mathematics that is play with patterns. Now, as I have been telling continuously that patterns mean something which have something in common. Suppose I'm writing 2, 4, 6, 8 and then the next three blanks are remained like this. So when you need to fill this, you need to find a pattern. So here we can see that the pattern is each number is greater than the next number by 2. That is 2 is added to each number. So the pattern will continue 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 like this. So this is how it goes on. Now this is what patterns are. Now in the book you can see that Tinu used this particular block to make a sari. Now this is how the sari looks. Then he used the same block and then he made this bed sheet with the same block and he even made a dupatta with the same block again so now we can see that using a using one singular block so many different patterns can be formed and so many different things can be made so now can you see how tinu has made different patterns using the same block now you two make three patterns using this particular block so either you can make one pattern like you can keep one on the straight direction and then one on the opposite direction Again straight, again opposite. The pattern can go on like this. In the next one, what you can do is the first will have one, the second will have two, the third will have three and it will go on. So next you can decide on your own and make patterns in your own creative ways. Then Yamini has used her blocks to make a few patterns. Help her to take these patterns forward. Now what has Yamini done? She has made some patterns and we need to complete them. Now while doing this chapter, you need to keep one thing in your mind that whenever we are talking about pattern any question you need to solve you first need to notice that what exactly the pattern is and then you can carry it forward so here we can see at first there was one leaf second there were two third there were three and then four complete and it looks like a flower now if again it has one leaf then the same pattern will go on forward that is it will again have two three and then the complete flower Similarly, what you need to do is you need to do the rest of the questions on your own and find the patterns in it. Then we have letters and number patterns also as I was talking about. So it says A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I and blank. So here we can see that three letters are being used at once. So if it's A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, it will be J, K, L in the next box. M and O in the next box. So this is how the pattern will go. If it's 2, 8, Z... 2, 7, Y, 2, 6, X. So here we can see that the numbers are going in a reverse order along with the letters. So if it's Z, Y, X, what is the letter which com comes before X? So w, X, Y, Z, right? So W is the letter which comes before X. So W will be written here and before 26, it comes 25. So it will be 2, 5, W. That will be the next number. This is how you need to complete the patterns. The rest of the you need to complete on your own. Then you also need to create a pattern with numbers and without numbers as well. For without numbers, you can draw it using shapes like a square, rectangle, triangle, a square, rectangle, triangle again. And with numbers, as I gave you an example of 2, 4, 6, 8, similarly, you can make any other pattern. Then what happens is no number comes twice. Now, this is a box here. Its numbers are 1, 2, 3. The numbers are between 1, 2, 3 and it's covered. Now, what happens is no number comes twice in any one line. So now what they have done is they have made a box which has numbers from 1 to 3 but no one single number comes twice in one single line same is the thing we need to do with the letters if the letters are a b c we need to fill this box with the letters so in the first column we can have a b c this the letters are not repeated in the second what we can have is c a b so if it's c a b then they are again and in the, in the last we can have is b c a so in this way no letter will be repeated twice in one single line then we have magic patterns as you can see this figure here it says Look at the pattern of numbers 1 to 7. See how each line adds up to 
12. So similarly, you need to create your own pattern like this. After this, you have magic triangles and magic triangles also. So it will also have the same pattern and you need to create your own magic triangle. Now, these are the practice questions for you. Then we have number towers. So basically, numbers can be arranged as a tower. We start from the below and get this number pattern. It's 10, 20, 30. 30, 50, 80. So what they have done is, you can see the pattern. 20 and 10 are added, they form 30. 30 and 20 are added, forms 50. Then 50 and 30 are added, it gets up to 80. Now, what happens is, we are two numbers below to get the number in the box above them. Now, using the same rule, we need to complete the following. I'll do one for your help. So if it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 10 and 15 add up to make 25. So 5 and 10 will made up add up to 15 while 20 and 15 will make 35 now you need to add 35 plus 25 which will give you 45 55 60 and then you need to add 60 plus 15 so the answer will be now you so basically i committed a mistake and you need to guess what it was so if i'm adding two numbers if it's 10 and 5 is 15 20 and 15 is 35. Now for the above row, I need to add 35 as well as 25, which I did right now. Add 5 to 35, which is 40, and then two more to it, which will make 70. So 35 and 25 will together make how much? 30, 40, 50. And then it's 30, 45, 40, 50, 55 plus 5, which will make 60 in all. So if it's 35, plus 25, even if you do it by column method, 5 plus 5, 10, 0 here, 1 will be carried over, 3 plus 2 is 5, 1 over there, 60 will be the answer. So we'll write 60 in the above row and then 25 plus 15. So when we are 25 and 15, we get 40. So 40 will be written here. Now 60 and 40 will make up 100. This is how you need to complete it and the rest you'll do it on your own. Then we have the same sum rule. Some friends are playing with number cards and see how they add. First from the left and then from the right. So 11 plus 16 is 27. 12 plus 15 is also 27. While 14 plus 13 is also 27. So this, they have made some cards which has amazing pattern in it. Now you write any number and the three numbers after that make a pattern using the rule and see you if you get the same sum. So what now you need to do is you need to study their pattern and make your own pattern for it. Then we have patterns with addition as well as patterns with subtraction. We'll be studying about it. So the patterns with addition show that 1 plus 2 plus 3 make a 6. 2 plus 3 plus 4 make a 9. 3 plus 4 plus 5 make a 12. So the sum of the sum grows by 3 each time. Then we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 10. 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 14. And here the sum is growing by 4. So we noticed one thing. The number of digits we are taking in the first instance decides by how much the number will be added. You can make it like 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. So that will be 15. Now if you add 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. So that will give you 14 plus 6. That is 20. So here we can see now the sum comes out to be the difference of 5. And this is how you need to carry it forward. Then again we read about some secret messages as we have already done. So in this case what you need to do is. Someone wrote a secret message and she said, what are you doing? Let me see. It looks like a secret message. I'm trying to read the note of my friend gave me and I cannot understand it. So what now in this secret message, what you need to do is first you'll write letters from A to Z. And then you write the numbers 1 to 26. We all know we have 26 letters. With this, we'll have one number for one letter. That is, we we'll have one for A, two for B. And now similarly, if you want to write, suppose C, A, T. Now C is number 3, A will be number 1 and then you calculate the number for T. Now if we count, start counting, it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T. It's the 20th letter. So that will be 3, 1, 
टू जीरो नाउ दैट विल मेक अप अ कैट नाउ दिस इज हाउ वी राइट सीक्रेट मैसेजेस एंड टू इन Joy it and to understand it more clearly, you can send secret messages to your friends as well as decode the messages given in your textbook. Then we have upside down. Now Anisha is playing a game. She is showing her friends that she can stand on her head like this. Now Anisha is playing with this card and draw what it looks like when it's upside down. So if this card is like this, when we put it upside down. it looks like this then we are reading about some of the floor patterns also so have you ever seen a floor with tiles in your houses you must be having floors with different styles and designs of tiles so you might have seen it there now these designs are made by covering the floor completely with tiles that fit into each other without any gaps so now this tile has been given to us and we need to complete it by a pattern so the hint has been given to us and we need to complete it forward then we have floor designs with a circle so examples are given to us and you need to complete the designs forward and similarly after that it has a wall which is covered by bricks the patterns are given you need to complete it so by the end of the chapter now we know what exactly are patterns how can you solve the questions of patterns and along with that you also know how to write secret messages by giving one number to one particular letter so with this we are done with the chapter i hope it is clear to you that's all thank you